Bum 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 bum. The Peter Dislike Show. Bum 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 bum. So earlier today, uh, I had a coworker who uh, had just uh, broken up, and uh, he was depressed out of his mind. And we all understood that. And it made me wish that people would appreciate my uh, breakups or uh, setbacks that I have that don't involve a human. Unfortunately, it doesn't always turn out that way. So I was working at a startup many years ago when I had another coworker who missed a very important meeting. There was going to be three of us at that meeting. And so um, the two of us waited for him. And we were kind of concerned for him because he joined the startup company a week ago. And we know that you don't behave like that at a startup company. So we figured he must have had some serious issue, right? A death in the family, a car accident on the way to work, something like that, right? Because usually if somebody misses an important meeting at a startup company, that's kind of what, what it is, right? He showed up apologizing to us. He had slept in because he was up the previous night after a very painful breakup, which is fun. We all accepted that. And he kept his job. Unfortunately, the startup folded. We, we both lost our job when the, the, when pretty much the, at the end of the life of that startup company. And um, But at the same time, it, it made me think about other times when I have setbacks that aren't related to breaking up. I don't tend to have very bad breakups, by the way. Uh, I usually treat breaking up as like graduating from a relationship. Actually, the worst kind of breaks, breakups are those soft breakups where you just get ghosted or things just kind of die down. Oh, I, I want a major breakup because then I, I can graduate from the relationship, right? Uh, anyway, so uh, uh, during the pandemic, a lot of my favorite foods got discontinued. And... Um, Every time it was a major setback for me because during the pandemic, I really worked hard to um, have a good relation with food, and it just broke the beat of the music. Right, I'm, I all of a, I'm, I'm having this routine, and then all of a sudden, uh, I have to re-strategize a little bit. Although having a good relationship with food also implies that you should be malleable to that, so I've been learning to do that. But I would so much love. I would so much love when when I have a setback like that to be able to take half of a mental health day, right? Like and show up at at at, at lunch time. I really would. I really would. Unfortunately, I don't think it would get received very well, right? Actually, sometimes when I miss work due to these things, I call it a breakup because people can relate to that a little bit better. And then among my closer colleagues, I might say, "Oh, it was a breakup with a food item that got discontinued," right? Because it's more relatable that way. Um, I've suffered some, uh, well, I used to live out of my car. I've suffered some car break-ins. I've suffered some um, uh, robberies like that. And I never get to take a mental health day. Even when I lost my computer with many years of good work on it with my computer games. I mean, granted, they were backed up here and there. And, but I still have to gra gather them all together. And um, unfortunately, most of my colleagues already did not approve of me spending all my time writing computer games in the first place, right? The last thing I wanted, to, I, I needed to do was to tell all my colleagues that it's causing another problem for me. And so unfortunately, I didn't get to take any mental health time for that. Earlier this year, um, I went to a county fair and I discovered I couldn't ride half the rides there because um, you needed two people to ride the rides with. And nobody wanted to listen to me when I asked very nicely, would you come ride with me? And actually, to give you an idea of how foreign this topic is, I um, had posted on, uh, I, I, I got my account banned because of this. I had posted on OkCupid asking if somebody would just come with me to the carnival. I don't, I don't want anything else. And I, I at, at first it was just somebody who wanted to have fun. When I couldn't get any attention to with that, I, I offered some money for that. I got banned for soliciting. I, I, I didn't want anything else. Seriously, I just needed somebody to, 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 to basically as a sit-in on the ride. And uh, unfortunately, it's not hard to create another account on there. 
But that's the kind of stuff I would love to take mental health time for. It, it doesn't get a heck of a lot of attention here in the United States. Um, not everybody grieves in the same way, right? So for example, obviously my family obligates me to go to um, funerals and all that. If I had it my own way, I, I could care less about going to a funeral, right? I, I think once you die, you die, that's it, right? Um, I, I don't tend to get very um, upset about deaths, although sometimes if the death relates, if it beats with me with some for some reason, then I might. So for example, during the pandemic, I lost three friends, two to drug addiction, one to alcohol overdose, and I have an addictive personality. That really hit me hard. But people near me who die of um, heart attacks, cancer, COVID-19, eh, I could care less. It's sad, but I, I got work to do, right? So I just wanted to point out, not everybody grieves for the same reasons and to, to be more open to that.